Tactical vs. Evil Kid Gaming. And uh, this is a, an interesting fixture, one that wasn't, you know, expected by the seedings, really, Commander X. Like, LEGO weren't rated by people. They're here with a Merc. Obviously, Evil Kid of Demo, Demo playing for Exxon, so both rosters maybe not fighting at their full potential. Could it be a close game? I think so. I think, like... A lot of talk about this tournament has been about how anyone can win it, anyone can take it, you know, all eight teams are contenders. But even amongst all that, no one's ever really considered LEGO a real threat to, like, knock people out or to knock people down or, to, you know, to make an impact. They've just kind of been, like, you know, kind of like Fenix, just making up the numbers a bit more than an actual contender. But they're proving here now they're more than capable of, you know, meeting the best. Absolutely. I've just, uh, yeah, I've got the STV right now, so I can begin. <laughs> I've just joined myself and they're all on the same team. <laughs> Completely <laughs> messing up my head, seeing 12 people on the same team. If you have just joined us, guys, this is a ramshackle cast. It's Team Fortress TV presenting the Team Fortress TV Zoe Invitational number two. We're here all day for an eight team double elimination of the best in Europe. Uh, I am admirable. Joining me is Commander X. We got Hui on production. We got John in the background there. Ducky as well. That magnificent straw poll you just saw, courtesy of uh, Ducky, Portuguese superstar. But uh, we should be going to rosters again with our technology, but who is saying that it's going <clears> to <throat> not mention that, Commander X? Don't mention the roster thing. <coughs> <coughs> I think Hopefully we can, up, uh... <laughs> I think it was maybe something to do with the fact that we gave him all of 20 seconds notice on which game we were going to cover. <laughs> that may or may not have had an impact on his turnaround on it. Presumably none. Hey, man. This is a live TV, baby. Uh, we will be going to round two right now. We're going to stay in the upper bracket, but we're following uh, Lego, who have caused an upset in round one, coming in as the seventh seed and taking out the second seed. Yeah, and oh. he confirms that that thing that we're not going to mention is definitely broke. Don't mention it, mate. Okay. We can do I... a good old fashioned roster run down and stick up a middle finger at Atmo. How about that? We have a. Um... We do have good news about some other technology. I believe Lego are trying to get on the mumble. Obviously, they normally come in Danish, but with Forsaken Merking, they are converted over to English comms for his, for his sake. <laughs> so I think we will get Lego on the comms if all goes according to plan. That will be incredible. Uh, we will. We did uh, come to agreement. It was actually Epps who brought this up, but uh, he said, you know, we're, we're cool to do the comms. As long as you don't uh, bring them on in the pre-game, the after-game, or during any pauses, you know, don't want to give away any uh, team mm. secrets there. With what with the delay on STV, ninety seconds, the comms are also delayed. But there is a, a chance for a little bit of ghost in there, so we'll, we'll use it with uh, some great responsibility here. You know, it's great, great power, great responsibility, Commander X. There's a currently a heavy fight for sides going on. Both both teams are rolling out right now. We just had it confirmed that taunt kills are allowed. <laughs> I, don't, really I don't know if that's been actually. covered in the Zowie invitational rules if we have a specific layout for how heavy fights should be <laughs> literally I just said uh, yeah follow ETF to all rules so they're sort of making up as they go along here but Granary <laughs> is um, one of those maps you know that is actually a little bit imbalanced on the sides I know in Europe we don't do that side swap in business but if there was a map where you wanted to make a big deal out of it, I suppose Granary would be, would be that. Most of the other maps are, are, are pretty equal. Viaduct, what's the issue there? It's not symmetrical, isn't it? It's symmetrical through the middle, not on either side. Mm, so like, interesting. I, I can't remember which side it is, but because, you know, most soldiers use the slightly right-handed rocket launcher thing, it favours that side a little bit more. It's a really small, you know, petty difference, but... It can the be colors, argued. Uh, Ip Ips differences. Ip Ips differences. <laughs> yeah, Ips refused um, to give uh, CP Quasson a chance because it was uh, that weird mirrored symmetry or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like symmetrical through not the middle. Not because it was a bad map. Not, but... 
<laughs> you know what I mean. We, I think yeah, everyone yeah. knows what we mean. We don't have every bad I do, job again, explaining. demonstrating our great grasp of mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> This is why we're just for voices and don't design anything. I'm going to try and uh, peek into Mumble here and see. Yes, look at that. Lego players all, all stepping up there. Uh, apparently these guys have a lot of fun. It's just something you don't always seem, see in top mm-hmm. level TF2 teams. Sometimes uh, it can be get pretty, pretty tense. People uh, joining teams with players they don't necessarily have the best relationship with but these Danes man they're all like super best friends apparently they all speak Danish which yeah. is a great start Forsaken said he's having a really good time said we're all awesome and obviously they won their first map so it can't be going that badly um, it will be interesting because obviously Granary is a very soldier friendly map you know strong soldier map and Tech and T-Mac are amongst the best in Europe and I know I've played a couple of times against Tech and Tech just absolutely destroyed us sort of, you know, hitting like 11k damage on Pocket Soldier, really tearing it up. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, the Danes can cope with that. Yeah, like, um, when I was doing the research for the article, I just sort of trawled through logs, and I would just pick out the team captain, basically, and search their Steam ID, and going through T-Mac and Tech, I was surprised, like, how many games of Ulti Duo and stuff are in there. These guys are, like, super keen soldiers. They're playing... Uh, Ulti Duo fairly regularly, you know, like they are uh, taking their soldier craft very seriously. Forsaken, he's good too, man. He's um, very aggressive Russian style, but I think these guys uh, perhaps take it to the next level. We're gonna go to a heavy fist fight here. It's though. live, but a heavy fight is live. Both teams rolling out. Both teams, unsurprisingly, rolling out with six heavies. Yeah, oh, uh, both of them uh, opting to use the left-hand side rollout. I think that's key here if you want to make it to middle on time speed. Ever so important here in oh, the heavy fist fight. They can't. No packs. No packs. I think they've agreed on. There's a little bit of discussion in chat, but they've all agreed. No packs. <laughs> that's a split to... here from Lego. They're going. Or they're going for the three-three split. F two, Crizzle and Zen all working from the left, whilst the other three take the high ground. It's a multi-tiered approach here. It's actually uh, a stacked on the high ground there. It's a standoff. The French. <laughs> it's a Russian standoff as no one's willing to make the first move. A few trying to maintain the high ground. Be interesting to see if anyone tries for taunt kill. They did agree before this went live that taunt kills are on. One heavy. Uh, Zen's a little bit isolated here on the left side. Maybe he's just trying to bait. Health is better for the French right now. They're all grouping up around the health pack now. Of course, they're not allowed to take. First frag to F2 on Flippy. Blah, blah, gets well in reply. Uh, oh, looks like the Danes are backed into a corner here. They're getting flanked here, the Danes. This could be it for the Danes. They're getting completely swamped. Just two alive, F2 and Helber. Just F2. 40 HP, he's running. He's trying to buy time. <laughs> I don't know what he's buying. <laughs> he's just running. He's just running. Play the Betty Hill music. Play the Betty Hill music. <laughs> he's just running. <laughs> they can't catch him. <laughs> it's a steal, mate. It's a steal, mate. It's just, he's playing for the draw. If he keeps running for another eight minutes and. Oh, the flank! The <laughs> flank from Flippy! <laughs> man down, um, man down. The French claim their side, and the French do indeed want the red hand side. Red hand side? That's a common expression. Yeah, red hand red. side. <laughs> uh, I'll quickly run through that uh, lego roster on blue we're gonna have dr phil on the demo man roll f2 the legendary medic the man who made medic cool and he is uh, unflappable on those team comms hopefully we're gonna see that later he is gonna be pocketed by forsaken he's stepping in here for natural who i reckon was a real strength of the lego team but hey they've just gone and beaten tlr the map before so what the hell do i know uh his Roaming Soldier will be Krizzle, um, one of these Danish journeyman players who managed to uh, win Division 1. Like they, so There's a few players here a little bit unknown, you know, they're not like Premiership superstars, but they've uh, earned their way here, they've claimed Premiership status. Uh, Zen was one of those, he just came from nowhere last season, I think he won the upcoming Talent of the Season award, or he was definitely nominated, maybe he didn't win it, I voted for him, anyway. Uh, you got Helberg on scout there as well joining him and he is actually a prolific sniper but Granary not exactly the greatest sniper map outside of the last and I guess the CP2 spawn. Commander X take me through this 
Uh, Eva Kit gaming roster. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be Bull on Medic, formerly from Desert, now back with an old French team. It's gonna be Flippy and Pla Pla. Been a scout duo for gotta be years now. Uh, we're gonna have Bimul on Demo Man, who is replacing Exxon, who is unavailable for whatever reason. Maybe the weak link in this team? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Grand really quite a difficult map for Demo Man. And we're gonna have T Mac on Roma. And if you're gonna watch anyone this map, it has to be Tech on the Pocket Soldier. Expect big things from him throughout the map. And that will complete their lineup, and I think I have to favour them with a tech advantage. Yeah, a little uh, clarification on the status of eggs on T Mac said that he just hasn't shown up. They've been ringing him, and he's not answering his phone, and just doing a complete no show there. He definitely knew about this, he was uh, listed in their roster. Uh, for some reason, I thought maybe Flippy wasn't going to show up from whatever conversations I had with Tech and T Mac during the week, and that's why Demo was mentioned, but with uh, no eggs on there, that's. Uh, it could be tough once they face uh, those uh, top two opponents, you know, playing against Heiss and Cadis. We'll see how he fares or if Exxon shows up again. If they even make it that far, as Lego might continue to just turn over the seedings team after team. That's what people want to see. Note as well that Lego are tagged up with uh, Cam there. That is their sponsor. Uh, He's on the roster as well, but I understand he is like pretty much their mascot and uh, maybe provides servers and stuff for them, but he doesn't play for them anymore, but he is still there in spirit for this uh, LEGO roster. Yeah, we're just waiting for ready up here. Dimul asking them to rock. Uh, still maybe just about on schedule. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, yeah, like I said in, when I was going through the rosters, Grand Reaper been quite difficult for Demo Man, quite difficult, particularly on mid, to stay alive. It'd be interesting to see how Demo does against the more experienced Dr. Phil. How do you think that's going to fall? Yeah, you know, for me, um, I played uh, Highlander with Phil. I think he's a good Demo Man, but he's definitely in the, in the lower rankings of Premiership Demo Man. I'm not sure. Uh, how much of an advantage he's going to be able to take. We are live here for this second round of the Team Fortress TV Zowie Invitational number two. We're still in the upper bracket. We're watching Lego on the rise against number three seed Eva Kit Gaming onto this first middle. Dr. Phil comes in low, takes the pack and tags up Demul. then works down the left hand side. Lego going to try and control their side and push forward into that red ramp room. There's T Mac going down to Crizzle. Pla Pla finds him in revenge though. And Lego have just managed to pick up three frags for one here. And I'm not entirely sure how they did it, Commander X. Yeah, uh, wow, big flank from oh! Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil's going to get two Forsaken and we're going to come in through with F2 and pick up a third. It just seems like uh, the oldest mistake in the book on Granary Middle. They didn't get out of a corner there, the French. And uh, just got completely crushed, taking over point presence. And now they've got Uber Advantage on to last. I uh, expect to see, yep, there's Flippy on Sniper. Takes one shot of a Medic. Doesn't hit him, but that will cause for pop. He hits a scout as well. Some nice damage, but they've still got a lot of Uber and they're all on the point right now. Just spamming that door as they all try and come out, and that's an early first cap for the Danes. Upsets on the cards. Jeez, Dr. Phil, great area control there, and the, the uh, aggressive play off middle was uh, very impressive. Maybe John can bring us some of these Lego comms here for this uh, next middle push. I'm watching the Phil rollout. Looks like he's going to go left again. Let's hear what Lego have to say about what exactly is going on on middle. Fingers crossed. Here's top. Scott Scott left weak. side. Down. Oh, we two down now. Scout weak. Scout weak on the kid. Scout down. down. Nice. down. I jumped in. Watch out. Watch out. I'm dead. Just going to get spammed. We need to get out, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Able to hold second there. We'll hold inside. You can peek on the outside, see where they're coming, then we'll go inside. Someone should peek on thing. We have even now. I respond. Okay, that was uh, interesting to see how Lego were dealing with that mid fight. They were sort of sitting back in the corner of CX, waiting for the frags to come, and they got a few, but. Uh, Ultimately, they didn't have the same success as the last middle. Oh, There's wow. Demul going in and eating a pipe from Phil. 
and that may encourage Lego to push here, CX. Yeah, Tech and T-Mac trying to hold close, trying to put that dual soldier spam on, but surely the Danes have to push it. Dr. Phil trying to get that damage out. He's got a lot of damage on Tech right now. Tech's going to be in trouble. Tech might need the Uber to save him. Now one HP, he's going to pop. Tech's going to go in now, but FT's going to milk and milk. Now pops on Dr. Phil. He's got about a 40% advantage to work with. Uh, Forsaken chasing the Medic down. Forsaken gets the Medic. Now Dr. Phil gets the Frack. And now they've just got to protect F2, keep the heals going. They're going to clean up T-Mac as well. And I think there is, is there a player behind? They seem to be checking Garage. I can tell you with the outlines that there isn't, but they don't know that for sure. Uh, with Bull down though, no heals here for Evocate and Lego are going to make that count. This is one of the hardest points to take control of. And they're going to definitely use that advantage. They're straight in here, even getting Pla Pla for their troubles. They're going to be able to take control of this one. Bull respawns, he's going to stick on Medigun, but it's an advantage situation here for F2. And now they're going to work their way on the right-hand side. F2 and Forsaken coming through there, looking for some red players, but the, the French are reluctant to hold the yard at all. They're unsure of where exactly F2's Uber at, and so they should be. He's just about to hit that 100% mark. Yeah, it looks like they want to go straight in here as well. F2's got it on a scout. F2's going to Uber in the scout, but they're far away. F2 spots for stickies, calls out to his team. Scout's trying to do a lot of work, but too much health on those buff players. They're going to fall back to point. And the French are about to have Uber. Surely they're going to want to repush this. There we go. Uh, it looks like it's going to go with Tech. Tech's leading the charge. They do lose T-Mac in the process. Scout and Demo trying to rush behind. Uh, Tech will get one of them with a shotgun. Tech will get both of them with a shotgun. Good Uber work there to clean up the frags. And the cap's now going to be started. And Forsaken's actually going up top behind them. Forsaken's peeking in. He's spamming from up top. He's trying to make an entry for someone else. He's got a lot of damage on the demo. Down goes the demo. And now F2's back up top with Chris. They are outnumbered here. Chris will get the medic, but F2's awfully deep. F2's surely going to go down as well. And Dr. Phil's back out on middle. And Zen is in yard. Going to one-on-one a scout here. Got a lot less health. Flippy's got the buff still. Flippy will clean that up. And surely with his numbers, they're going to be able to peek into middle at least. Yeah, whenever that play sort of broke down, the, the French death match was a fairly ruthless or vicious plays uh, after Lego tried to do that little wrap around from the garage. There's a scout going deep here though. Hellberg just goes in and trades, but he's created an opening here for his team to come in and block this point. Tech with the shotgun again. Finds his man, takes Dr. Phil down, but Lego will defend the point and have themselves a crit advantage, advantage here. advantage, yeah. Yep, uh, looks like Demul's going to try and put some pressure on, but Demul gets caught out again. We talked about him possibly being the weak link here, and it's certainly looking like that is so. There is a player behind on middle trying to edge for cap. Uh, they killed him, yeah, Pla Pla's down. And now we're going to be going forward 100% on those crits. Dr. Phil's not with him yet, though. Looks like Forsaken might want to take his crits in. Uh, they are awfully far back, though, 75% on the Uber. They've crits through the door right now. Forsaken's going to fire rockets, but they're going to close that door. Time. F2's not going to commit with Forsaken. I think Forsaken's just going to go for a bomb, maybe? No, just going to hold the door. Uh, wasted crits there, hiding. but they get CP2. T-Mac is hiding above. A scout season before T-Mac realizes, and T-Mac has been having trouble on various stages of this map, be it middles or Uber's uh, come in. on the flanks. Uber popped there for Evocate, and they've just forced back the Danes a, a little bit, ever so slightly, but not committing to chase down here. They're trying to get the easy frags behind. But in that process, Flippy's gone down, and it's a one-man advantage here for LEGO. And they have that crits coming up very soon. 90% for F2. Who will he crits this time? Will it be Dr. Phil or Forsaken? Looks like surely Phil. Phil's yeah, lining up a sticky. Goes for the medic, misses the medic. Trying to find me to get, get one frag. Uh, Dr. Phil's just sticking up the right-hand door now. They're coming out the left door, though. Dumoul gets one, but... Tech gets one as well, but there's too much point present and a 2 0 lead for the Danes. Wow, talk about your dark horses here, Commander X. Uh, <laughs> gee whiz, I was absolutely slating them in my article, but uh, they definitely know how to play Team Fortress 2, it seems. Uh, F2 keeping everything in control. No crits here, though, onto this middle. I am going to watch T Mac. I feel he really is getting shut down on mids. I want to see what he's trying to do. He's working down the left-hand side here. He's looking for blue players. Now he's going to help his scout take on this uh, fight in the run room, but help her... Or is that Zen? Sorry. Actually takes out Flip. And uh, T-Mac unable to assist. Eventually bombs in really late, but they had an opportunity to take on a two-on-one there, but sucked out. Zen too strong. Yeah, the well, scouts are really doing a great job here. 
Zen and Helberg, the lesser known of the scout duos, but certainly coming out on top right now. And it looks like the Danes are going to take it straight down the left hand side. Going to Uber in with both Pocket and Demo right now. Uh, Tex is going to get the single Uber. It'll be interesting to see what Tech can do here, but that's four times on the cap. Tech's going to try and force him off, but right now Tech and Bull are surrounded. Bull's going to try and get out, but the Demo Man uh, like shepherded him in. Bull's going to sneak out on 40 HP, but as he baited out too much of his team, but Tech's actually coming from behind and cleaned everything up. Ball will go down to Helberg before Tech gets an frag, but it looks so good for the Danes, and then they just got pincered right at the end by uh, Evocate. Yeah, Tech is just walking around with that shotgun out, man. He's like, yeah, I, I cannot be asked to reload my rocket launcher. He's just uh, pumping buckshot into fools, slaying these Danes, uh, whilst they're all trying to chase after that medic frag. The block's now, coming in. I've almost capped the point as well, but the block is in. And uh, Krizzle's taking control of that red crit, drops off weak though, but it looks like the Danes have a, a decent enough position here. There's a couple of players behind though, and F2 has gone down to that flank play from T Mac. And Flippy, T Mac survives. He has to run away for the pack though. Now it's going to be a 3 on 3 on middle, but it, it's only uh, two combat classes here for the French. They have their medic in tow though. Moulet keeping these guys on life support. Krizzle jumps back up, goes top, but he's. Uh, Looking like a poor position here, but it's rocket after rocket wow. onto man and scout did the best he could there, but uh, he was definitely gonna die. Yeah, so unlucky there. He hit pretty much every rocket as perfectly as he could, but he was too strong. And now we see Evocate take right yard with Tech, Demul, and Bull almost with that Uber charge. We're gonna try and edge a bit of a cap before they have Uber. Tex trying to eye out where the medic is. I think Tex wants to take this one in. Tex going to take it in. There's a little jump off the wall trying to get close. He's going to get a flash through this door. And he's going to get Surf into the medic right now. Lands one on F2. F2 goes down to half HP but won't go down. And three frags now for the Danes as they try and pick F2. And they're just going to push this back right now. F2's almost got Uber. And the French are just going to have to retreat to middle. Yeah, there was some like... Very subtle play there, I think, from LEGO. They sort of showed themselves the combo, like they were intending to hold the point on two, but then just beat it out the Uber from uh, Evocate Tech going in deep there, and a lot of his team chasing. Like, LEGO really engineered those frags. I think that was very subtle, but smart play. And now they've held a retake in two, but they've managed to lose Helberg and Phil in the process. They're going to oh, lose a few more sake. players, and LEGO should look for the door here. F2 is getting out, but will how many players will join him? Zen gets out on 100. As does Krizzle, he picks up the big kit there, but uh, the spawns are coming in and they've just lost a little ground here and the uber advantage is in favour of Bull. Yeah, they do have a demo advantage though and Dr. Phil's doing a great job trying to spam them off the point. More area denial right now. I think they should be able to edge this point out, but F2's getting ever closer to that uber. And if Dr. Phil is delaying them, they want to go for the block, but there goes Tech aggressive on Dr. Phil, he will get the pick. The uber's popped there, F2 has 100% now. He's going to be able to milk this well as both soldiers come in. Uh, F2 pops straight away. We're going to try and find the frags. Forsaken gets tech. The medic's deep behind here. Surely the medic will go down. Down goes Paul. And again, the French just caught overextending, trying to get F2 right at the end there. I think uh, now could be uh, a good time to go to those Danish comms again. Let's hear what F2 and company are going to do as they push out here from the top. Hopefully we can get some team comms and uh, hear their thought processes. Look at the position of Flippy here, hidden up on the, the metal girder there, CX as well. Now he jumps in, tries to focus down uh, for sake of there with T-Mag. Eventually he will go down, but Flippy did drop in that position too. But it looks like a potential hold here from Evocate, maybe a push to follow. At least a suicide, I imagine. There are only three players up. It looks like a soldier might bomb in from top. Yeah, it's T-Mac going in for the bomb, going to try and get towards the medic, he's quite far away though, F2's got a lot of ground between him and T-Mac, T-Mac will go down, the spawns are now in for the Danes, uh, the Uber will be popped though, the Uber's forced, F2's forced to pop, a scout is trapped in, Dr. Phil's flailing pipes at him, <laughs> the scout continues to dodge, blah blah eventually goes down, but he's earned his team a massive Uber advantage, and now the Danes are going to have to push into this, Tech's holding close up top, they want the Danes to push, they want them to walk into that Tech solo Uber, and they're just going to back it off. And here comes the Uber from top. It looks like both soldiers, T-Mac and Tech. Ubering through the top now. A lot of damage on that soldier. Air shots go for it. But Forsaken's going to crater anyway. They're now going for F2. And the Demo Man. A bit of split focus here. 
A uh, lot of good damage though from the French. Surely the scouts should be able to clean this up. Uh, time of a point now. Not enough players left for the Danes. F2 pulls out the needles, but it's not enough. And Evo K take one map, uh, uh, one round back even. Uh, I like that push there from Evocate, the double soldier spam coming in from top, not something you see often, but uh, as we said, Evocate have some six soldiers and they're clearly confident in their uh, teamwork and aggression there. It's coming in like a sledgehammer onto last now, finally earning their right as uh, the third seed and getting around on the board. Jeez. Dr. Phil messed up his rollout there, he's going to be really slow, going to take a stick it. Doesn't seem to affect the mid so much, but here comes the aggressive bomb from t -Mac. Teamat getting a lot of damage, not down. Tech's gonna follow up. So much damage there. Flippy and Tech, and Plapla's gonna take one as well. Meanwhile, Dimu manages to protect his medic from Zen. And that's a full wipe, and gonna be a full uber advantage. Push on to last once they gain middle and second. Yeah, that really was all about the the slow rollout. Like, Phil was unable to contest middle at the start, and his whole team were bunched up in the corner, and Lego had been playing that corner for a few rounds in a row. And perhaps uh, Evocate just thought, like, we're going to go straight over the top here. And the fact the demo man wasn't there meant it was just like a, an open goal. Went in, slam dunk there. How many sports metaphors can I cram in? This is Uber gets popped off onto last. Uh, Tech with the shotgun again on to Krizzle. But it's a 5-on-5 five -five situation. The health is looking poor, though, for the Danes. Lego uh, struggling to keep their players alive. But if anyone can do it, it's F2. And it's only he and yeah. a scout right now. Zen goes down, F2 goes down, and it's 2-2. A quick round again. Yeah, great work from Pla Pla there on that last push. Like, well, the rest of his team were coming from the right-hand side. He just snuck in the left. He didn't do a whole lot of damage, but he just drew the fire of Zen. It was a constant just distracted the other team and allowed the rest of the heavy classes to come in and crush uh, the rest of LEGO. As we go into another middle here, um, trying to see which way the demo man are coming. Looks like Dr. Phil's going top this time. Uh, both teams are going top and awfully weak now for Demul, 28 HP, he's going to have a lot of trouble there and Danes are all coming out on top, here comes the aggressive bomb but T-Mac goes down early, Tex trying to do work on the enemy health pack right now but stuck on the low ground. There's a flank, Skype coming up behind, it's Flippy onto F2, 2, 3, 4, 4 shots, <laughs> gets his man and uh, oh Demul with defensive pipes. Bull has managed to survive thus far. Phil is raining <gasps> as much damage as he can. He's going for that medic kick. Oh, oh the roller dance, that roller but will so not close. get him. <laughs> just in the <laughs> alcove there, man. I had like flashbacks of, you know, sort of medic nightmares of just holding the Uber <laughs> so well and then just walking over a stray roller. And I've never dropped an Uber mouth. in my life, mate. You know? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I must have you mistaken with a different <laughs> Irish medic. Uh, let us go to the lego comms if possible i understand there's a little bit of a technical difficulty earlier it should have been rectified now but let's see what they're going to do to try and uh, nullify this uber advantage how can they hold on for dear life here again they the combo is quite far forward we've got forsaken and phil just spamming the point here and uh, evocate are working their combo heals through the garage S pause. A pause let's not go to the comms then because that would be uh, unfair doesn't seem Ips like they worked rules. anyway. <laughs> yeah, the Ips rules. So look at this. Uh, I've got the, the outlines. You can see there's a clear split here from uh, Evocate. They've got a little bit of strategy going on there. You've got T-Mike, Demo and Pla Pla all playing around the point away from the heels. Uh, ready to cap or push through or at least stop anyone pushing into them. Tech and uh, Bull coming through with the charge. Looks like Tech is... Uh, gonna go in here with his medic and uber but right now there's a, a stacked situation in the lunchbox area that that garage area flippy is about to go two on one against hellberg and krizzle and the danes are controlling the med pack here i think flippy is likely to die or if he gets out he'll be super weak and unable to contest or he might trade with somebody best case scenario but even when this uber goes in i think the french are going to find themselves a man down here commander x as well, like when you look at where tech is, um, like it's quite difficult to jump and gain ground really in this kind of narrow, closed off granary point. And F2 is on 74%, and he's done it before, he's done it in previous rounds. Dr. Phil does such a good job of denying the cap time, you know, like when you're just trying to edge around the corner without committing, just stealing that cap time with like pain train and scouts. If you look at the cap, there's none of it basically has been taken. They're waiting for tech to come in with the Uber to try and get the cap. But it's going to be really all up to tech to make the best of a difficult situation. 
Yeah, there's a little sticky trap there on that uh, metal girder slash pillar as well. So <laughs> depending on when Bull opts to pop the Uber, he could be uh, taking a little bit of damage here, but it doesn't look like anyone else is going to be involved in that Uber, so surely he'll be uh, healed up in no time. But uh, I wonder what the pause is about and how this is going to affect the shed. You know, we gave it a little extra window of 50 minutes there instead of the straight 30 or 40 if it was going to be a golden cap, but Hopefully we won't have too many delays. This is a live event, of course. It's the Team for is TV Zowie Invitational. It's the eight best teams in Europe here for a double elimination one day tournament. We're going to keep playing until we know the winner. And uh, shout out to Zowie for sponsoring this, working together with Team for is TV. For second place, you will get six Zowie PTF Speed Mouse Mats. If you're lucky enough, good enough to win first, you get your choice. You get to take six of these mice, whichever ones you so desire. There's the EC Evo, EC1 Evo CL, EC2 Evo CL, the EC1 Evo Black, the EC2 Evo Black, and the FK. Uh, check out the Zoe website at zoegear.com. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, you know, but everything I say is just wrong. I'm Irish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! It's okay. You, I had so many problems saying Mail and Wool last map. Took me about a good 15 minutes before I think I got it down. And even then, I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm uh, just uh, checking the IRC to see if we have any scores coming in yet. You know, Granary, a uh, pretty slow map. No one has actually run the course yet. Not even uh, me and in Germany have come up on a 5-0. We're going to be on pause here. Tech's taking the ground by pop Uber through that door. F2's on. I don't know how much. So Tech will finish him though, he's not on a full uber charge, Tech's going to clean up Forsaken with a shotgun as well. But meanwhile the frags have gone down behind as you predict. Tech's going to keep going into last here, and Tech's just dropping all the frag. Just two players alive, there's players from behind arrive, but Crizzle can't arrive in time to stop the point. And Evo Kate turn a two round deficit into a one round lead. Wow, impressive uh, Tech producing the goods right there. Onto this middle and... Uh... It will be 3-2 in favour of Evocate, and I'm trying to refresh my timer. There's no time limit set on this server, or else my HUD is broken. <laughs> I think it might be the server, but as we go into middle here, looks like Dr. Phil's going to take the early damage. Nice damage from Demul across there as all the Danes come out on top of the Soldier Bomb's going to run as well. F2's in a lot of trouble. F2's so weak. Going to somehow survive onto the crate. Great work by F2. Helberg and Chris are going to clean up the frags. Flippy will eventually kill the weak F2. It's just Flippy left alive of a French fighting on this right hand side. He's on 76 HP. He gets one. The other scout's fighting him as well. He's got to avoid demo spam as well. Roller's coming in. Zen will finish for one on one with 24 hit points remaining. And Lego, not going to let a third mid in a row go to Evocate. So far, we've seen every mid cap. I think every team that's won the mid cap has won the round. That's the word I want. I want to take round. Um, and it's going to be equal Ubers going into CP2 here. Maybe a slight advantage for Ball, but not a lot. Got a little score update so far in the uh, Made in Germany versus Mail and Mill game. It is 4 2 in favour of Made in Germany. I see as well Heiss saying that TLR have emerged victorious in the lower bracket 6 3. If only I could remember who they were playing, Commander X. I'll check that out. You tell me what's happening in hey, this game. Out. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, it's just a bit of a standoff right now. Uh, the classic two to three state right? as I choke on a chocolate finger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> take it away, ads. Is that a euphemism or something? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm uh, genuinely eating chocolate fingers. <laughs> uh, yep, it is a uh, little break here, and Ducky telling me don't spoil it for the STV watchers. Uh, obviously. The scores are uh, not in, taken into account the 90 second delay, so I do apologise if I uh, ruined anybody's uh, immersive STV watching. Uber comes in here though from Evocate. They're going to push even though they're winning right now. They've decided to do the impossible push from 2 to 3. Uber and out from the top. T-Mac and Pla Pla go down. And, uh, Lego are super weak here. Bull could go huge with some big needle kills, but Phil is there to pick up that medic frag. There are so many weak players there. Look at the red health on Lego. Yeah. Hellbook's trying to melee the demo, man. He's bleeding to death right now, I think, the demo. 
Timo is now stuck behind on middle, and Lego are just going to ignore him. Wise choice here. No heals on the ball, on the board as ball is down. <laughs> uh, Dimul's still behind. I think they're going to go try and pick him off now. A scout behind as well. Scout's coming in onto F2. Flippy! Wow, huge play from Flippy there. Dr. Phil kills him with a pipe, but it's too little, too late. Uh, I think the Danes might just set up a play until last here. Tech and Plapla have a height advantage, but they are outnumbered. Lego thought about it, but didn't want to go for it, going for a more controlled approach. I feel like uh, Zen dropped the ball there. He was the, the last scout between uh, F2 and Flippy. Like, he saw him coming. He, he saw that uh, Demul was there as well, and been behind enemy lines for so long, but he just let Flippy slip through, probably trusted his soldiers to deal with it, but... Man, you can't take those chances against a scout of Flippy's caliber. Took your medic out. And uh, that's going to buy time here for Eva Kit. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they want to push off this. They do have a round lead. Tech's going in, though. Tech's got a lot of spam damage. Going to have to pop early. Again, difficult to maneuver in this closed off CP2 point. They do get Krizzo, I think, was vain for a back cap. But a scout's going to come in now onto Bull. Walks into a sticky trap, though. That was unnecessary from Zen. And now they're going to try and work their way back in. Flippy's denied for point. Uh, Soldiers there denying the point as well. Forsaken gets for defend. They're still trying to pressure it on. The Uber's going to be popped. Tech's going to go behind. But Dr. Phil's going to get the demo and medic. He's going to find Tech as well. Tech with the air shot, but juggling the air shot. Tech too strong, going to start capping, but there's a player on last. Oh, blah, blah, blocks last. Meanwhile, Zen and F2 block CP2. And now it's just Flippy and Plapro alive. Flippy has no, Plapro even has no health. The scouts are coming in. Both scouts take it with the heels. And we're tied up for you all again. Looks like we picked the right game. Yeah, baby. Uh... This uh, Lego story is uh, a total surprise to me, and uh, well, I guess we'll just have to follow it until it runs its course for the rest of the tournament. Screw all those other teams. <laughs> it's become a Lego show. <laughs> and uh, I can tell you that uh, in Germany took their game five to two. They will head into the. Uh, Next round of the upper bracket, there's a middle going on here. There was the Mule finds Krizzel Helberg also takes down T-Mac. Both rumors out of the equation here. Uh, but Flippy gives away the edge by going to the spawn who dies there and... Oh, well, both scouts on ball. He gets flanked. Yeah, Zen and Helberg are still in. Now harassing with them and Helberg is. But Tech will close that one up. Once again, superb work from Tech. Uh, I think he air shot F2 as he tried to drop down, made him crater, and then he comes back to clean up that scout as well. But it will be equal Ubers as Evocate take mid. Yeah, that really could have gone any way when it was just down to the 3 on 3 there, but a late death from Bull means that F2 has a 15% Uber advantage here. Not sure what's that really, what is that really worth on uh, Granary, you know, it's like so easy to kite and juggle players through all these choke points but maybe Lego might try and do something I really can't imagine it really can't imagine it maybe both teams will play for the golden cap I wish I knew how much time is left is my husband broken as well I think, been, been, I think they might have not set it which I've checked and everyone's offline on Steam so I can't tell anyone <laughs> that they need to sort the time out because obviously with the game so close in this stalemate the time really plays a factor you know like maybe if it's only a couple of minutes left, maybe they want to play for the golden cap if you have a team on CP2. But we don't yeah. know. Maybe our uh, lovely Black Eyed John could just like jump into the server there and set the time limit for them. Or check that out for us. But Someone says in STV chat 9 minutes 10. Which does sound about right for how long this game feels like it's been going on for. So... Could just be a, a HUD bug or something. We did have a pause as well. Maybe that's why it's left. A uh, HUD bug, John reckons, because of the pause we're going to go with. Uh, he says there's five and minutes left tech in pops real time. Round. They Uber in, they Uber in, taking left yard here. They get Helberg, but that's all they get. They're gonna, F2's going to pop back, they're going to try and chase out the demo map. Meanwhile, Tech's getting more frags. Tech and T-Mac want to go behind right now. Scout's going to run into him. Zen there. Wow, big meat shots to take down Tech. But he gets uh, taken down by Flippy in return. And in all of this, uh, the dangers have to keep falling back. They're going to walk into a spam corridor, though. Flippy goes down. Uh, Dr. Phil's only got pipes loaded, but he hits all of them on T-Mac. Uh, D. Moore's going to hit a few of his own, take down F2 and Dr. Phil. And now the Danes are really on the back foot here. Are the French going to push or are they going to wait for Uber? The Moon totally blindsided in the combo there. It gets Phil and F2 so key right now. Bull survives 
And he is 20% away from an uber charge. There's a sniper on the field as well. And I'm trying to find it. It's Hellberg. They got Zen on heavy here. Both scouts switching off for the uh, big hold. Also a sniper on the French side as well. Flippy versus Hellberg. This is going to be interesting. Oh, Forsaken just walks in and ends that sniper fight by suiciding for Flippy. And Tech's going to pop through top with you, but here he gets dropped. He gets dropped. They have no one to Uber. T Mac goes down as well. Air head drop by Helber. Uh, Demol arrives late, but this is a car crash of a push by the French. And it's a crucial push when it's free all. Flippy is on spy, and Bull has survived. But surely, yeah, Dr. Phil and F2 taking point presence now. Interesting to see where Flippy's going to be. Flippy's behind the medic sniper right rifle now. There. He's uh, reloaded or refueled his cloak mate or decloaks, but he's still F2. got the bag on. They don't he's know down. He the bag still. He's got one. <laughs> He's got He's gonna... the diamond back! Bob's had a crit <laughs> shot, but can get a frag with it. There's some season 17 unlocks for you there, kids. I think he's done enough, though. Only Forsaken and Zen alive. Krizzle's gonna spawn in one. Forsaken stuck up top, though, trying to just do some delay in one. Gonna try and take the demo down. Forsaken does take the demo down. Uh, they're gonna... Looks like Tech and Plop, I want to come in. Maybe an overextension here. All they need to do is buy time for the spawns. Here comes F2 with us another spawning scout, but they have the Uber. I didn't notice that. Tech's gonna get one, Plapa's gonna get one. Just F2 and a soldier. Quizzle's gonna get the scout on point. Demo's gonna arrive, but it's gonna be too little too late. And Uber, okay, take the lead as we go into the closing stages of this map. Well, I've got some more updates from the other games. And I don't care if you're watching on STV. Phoenix Daughter is going to a Golden Cap Daughter's Tournament Life in the balance here on one round. But we will continue here with Lego versus Evocate. For the 8th middle of the map, I'm going to watch the Dr. Phil perspective as he rolls in bottom left. He's spamming that pre-fire sticky towards Demul, who's also doing the same coming in on the mirrored rollout. But uh, T-Mac has gotten deep in onto the uh, Danish med pack, but both scouts just destroy him right there. Crystal had no luck on his bombs either, but the position is poor here from the French. They backed off into the rump room. Dr. Phil is spamming them from above whilst... Uh, Forsaken puts down rockets onto that main entrance. They turn around and clean up Flippy. And right now, it looks like LEGO are on course to make it 4 4. Yeah, uh, Bull and Tech do have Uber, and they're holding up top. I imagine Tech's going to want to go for this. Tech now jumping down, taking his time. He wants to get a good solo pop into this. Tries to find the scout, whiffs the rockets a bit. He does actually get Hellberg and forces the pop with the same rocket. Now he's got to get his medic out of there. Dr. Phil trying to juggle. Looks like Tech's going to stay in and be a distraction. Jumping out up top at the last second. So I'm just going to chase him, but T-Max coming in. T-Max gotten two, Tech goes down, but the French have regained all the position right now, and F2 and Forsaken are just running away. F2 and Krizzle even. Krizzle uh, trading spam there in the yard, but that flank from T-Max, nobody was watching uh, the Z entrance. Everybody was a little bit too focused forward. Tunnel vision there from LEGO costing them dearly. And... Uh, getting turned over after that successful take of middle they field it on second and the French seem to have the momentum here as they drive forward Helberg shuts them to mill on mill scatter gun wow, takes that demo man out Crizzle then takes down Bull as well and that's for two power classes gone right now and Dr. Phil's looking for more he takes Plapa Helberg's gonna make T-Mac crater finish on that Dr. Phil damage and now Lego will have another chance 90% the French need some kind of big force going out but no one's really in a position everyone's on last Playing it safe. The cap should go for free right now. And yeah, Flippy's gone to Sniper. They're really taking their time here. Uh, Lego were very cautious moving forward through the yard there. Finally capping the point. And now they have a massive advantage. They've got so much time here to try and uh, figure out what would a good push be. They can scout ahead, see what the setup is from Evocate. See if they see a Sniper, a Heavy, which they will see. Pla Pla and Flippy playing and decide how they want to push against that. I would favour probably to go from the top here, but it looks like they want to go from the right to get Uber early. This is a blind yeah. Uber here from F2, and Phil, Phil's trying to focus down that heavy, but they're fighting at a height disadvantage. They do get the heavy, but there's still two soldiers up there. Two of the best soldiers in a Premiership spamming rockets down. And Phil shuts down T-Mike, and all the players from Evocate have been drawn onto the point. This is looking good for LEGO. Wow. Only Flippy stands in the way. It's a total wipe! Such a good Uber from Dr. Phil right there. Like... It looks really bad, like they popped really early to avoid the, you know, potential flippy headshots. Then they took them a while to get the heavy down, and then they had the soldiers both above them, and Dr. Phil just did so much damage, good DM, and just really helped his team clean up there as we go into a tied 4 all game into the ninth middle. I got the math right that time, Admirable. I'm so proud. Wow, as we see <laughs> Dr. Phil go slow left. Some geniuses, Commander X. 
probably two of the smartest people in TF2. <laughs> As we see the soldiers going really aggressive into a ramp thing there. Krizzle won't be able to get anything, but he does force them back. But T Mac now reclaiming the height advantage, and the frags are in favour of the French. Not a lot of health left on Forsaken and Helber. Forsaken is going to desperately try and get ball. Ball down to half health. And it's just one player left. I would like to see Lego um, mix it up a bit on middle. Like, a couple of times, EVK have uh, spotted them in that corner and just like uh, annihilated them in there like a total extermination. F2 has gone down, he's respawned. Helberg on Sniper's Zen. It's like Prizzle on the Heavy Weapons guy. The Uber comes in and uh, much of the damage being used on that 450 HP Fat Man that's just about to fade. Stay all over the point. Time oh. is up. Oh, if only we saw this coming somehow by some kind of HUD. Timer, timer. Yeah, that, that would have uh, been handy. Someone really needs to invent one of those. I'm going to restart my TF2. I, I don't want to suffer this anymore. Oh, Epps is just lurking there. What the hell? I'm here for like 10 minutes looking at this. <laughs> this is sick TF2. I love it. I love the story. It's really good. It's all up a bracket as well. Like Both these teams are just still in it no matter what. As the time limit's changed. Is that a golden cap now? Golden cap, yeah. Time limit up. Woo! Let go! Let go! <laughs> it's gonna be a made in Germany Lego final. I'm not <laughs> rooting for these guys now. I'm just uh, relaunching STV. What's happening on the server? Uh, they're still waiting. They've changed for config settings, but I presume everyone's just taking a bit of a breather, getting a drink, going to the toilet. You, you don't know. have time for that stuff! <laughs> It's five minutes until the next round starts. Uh, hopefully, uh, the other teams will give us a bit of leeway here to finish out this golden cap. See who's gonna uh, emerge victorious. But uh, yeah, man, this is an absolute nail biter. And um, tech on top damage again, thirty-seven for fifteen. In terms of like the the most decisive middles, I think I've seen. Evocate maybe get the most wipes. A lot of the times the French have gone away mm -hmm. with a couple of players. You know what I mean, I'm just clutching at straws here. <laughs> <laughs> More of our famous <laughs> number I've analysis. Been, I've been out. Um, we could actually bring up the logs. That's not a bad idea. I've totally forgotten about that thus far. Um, likely uploaded here. We are of course sponsored by ServeMe.tf, providing these fabulous servers. And uh, that is one of the features of the service they offer. Automatic log uploads to logs.tf. The only worthy logs source sizzling stats. Get out of town. Yeah, I said it in North America. Deal with it. I read all these uh, exciting threads on Team Forest TV where people are arguing about the, the layout of sizzling stats versus logs.tf. Makes my blood boil, Commander X. Makes my blood boil. <laughs> I know, it's such an even game, there's not really lots to take from the logs, except that tech really good. But what do you really think about Sizzling Stats? Oh god, it's rubbish. No. It's rubbish. Shaking my fist at the rubbish. screen. Calm down, that Abs. Line it's guy. okay, oh, wow. we're using logs, we're using logs, it's okay. Calm down. Uh oh, we're live here for uh -oh. the golden cap of this uh, upper bracket round two game between Lego, the seventh seed, and Evo Kit, the third seed. They've managed to take it all the way to a 4-4 tie after 30 minutes. This golden cap will be a 10 minute time limit or the first team which caps uh, or completes a full round here. Onto this middle though, it's a upper rollout here from Lego. Both scouts up top with Phil and Demul is able to try and walk forward and put a little bit of damage out there, but he doesn't overextend. He's waiting around for the rest of his team to oh, come wow. in, but Zen finds t Mac Crizzle onto Bull. This couldn't have gone any better for the start of middle, but can scouts the French Death Max turn it around? Yeah, scouts behind right now, F2 and Dr. Phil are sandwiched and Flippy's gonna get all the frags. And what looked like a really bad middle there turned around. And still a soul just trapped on middle, Team Will will finish him off. Both medics go down though, and F2 and his team are gonna have a chance to hold second. Interesting, are we gonna see crits from Ball? He's still got a spawn advantage by a little bit. That was a seesaw middle, like I thought it was so in favour of Lego right there, but I suppose like the high rollout. And them all being in the rump room, they had lost vision of their, their left flank and the guys just came right behind and they had like nothing to lose there. They just lost their medic, they were uh, two men down, they went ham. Some uh, nice French aggression there, scouts and soldiers hooking up, combining. But the uber advantage is only 5% here for Bull. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much an equal ubers. I imagine they're going to favour 
you know, just taking tech in, doing a really safe uber, you know, golden cap, they have middle, don't want to lose too many players, I say just take the solo uber in with tech, see what happens, see if he can get a good uber, if not just fall back, and it looks like that's what they're going to do as the tech seems to be edging closer to that door right now. Checking for stickies, moving in, stickies are actually on the bottom left corner from Dr. Phil's perspective, and they're actually, are they above the door as well? No, above the door is clear, taking their time here, patient work. Are oh, they parking the bus? You know the, the Golden Cab rule states that the team that holds middle after 10 minutes uh, will be the winner. Like, this isn't a tough point to play necessarily. Like, if if they had the outlines, they could realise that <laughs> there's Chris in the garage alone. He eats three rockets from Tech. Oh, wow. That was a little bit of a misstep. Tech's going to get two for free right now. Meanwhile, the rest of the team option through. They're actually going to force them. Dr. Phil's going to get a couple of frags. But Ball's now only just Ubered with Tech up top. And Tech and the scout are going to chase. Not going to chase. They thought about chasing and they decided just to cap a point. Wise, cautious play. And they've traded for Ubers and gained the ground. And now Dr. Phil's actually going to be caught out. And it's going to queue a push. The scout's rushing through right here. They're all rushing through on the left. There's no players left for the Danes. They've got two scouts who have just spawned. Can they hold this? Can they preserve it? Uh, it looks like they're committing to this for French. They trade one frag. Oh no, Dimul's just arrived from up top. This could be the changer. They clean everyone up. So Phil's only just respawned. And Evo Kate take for Golden Cap, knocking Lego down to the lower bracket. Oh, wow. And everybody's heart sinks. Uh, the Lego story has taken a turn for the worst. Except for K3, who just writes yay in STV chat. <laughs> <laughs> the sole Evo Kate supporter. Cheers. Boo. Uh, Let's um, jump quickly to the brackets and see what's happening. I know this game has run over by a few minutes in terms of what we expected for the round, but we need to decide quickly where we want to go. Um, upper bracket final will be made in Germany against Evocate, but in the lower bracket we got Lego, uh, Phoenix, Mela Mill, Last Resort. I think we go Last Resort. Green Mayla over! Mayla. <laughs> rest, in, rest in peace, Hope. We better put it to a vote, uh, real quick. Uh, what do you want, stream? We need a ducky straw poll ASAP. We've got three choices here. Or made in Germany, Evocate in the upper bracket. That's going to be on Gullywash. So too will be Lego versus Phoenix. Lego. And Mela Mool versus Lars Azor. Phoenix! Lego! Lego! Phoenix, big daughter. I just realised. Don't Phoenix be fucking won. awful. Not oh, bad. Wow. <laughs> Please. What happened? Sorry. I say what happened like anyone actually saw what happened. It's just more of a throwing an idea out into the What are these new features you guys put on the stream tonight? Uh, we have straw polls, we have the in-game com use a little bit before a pause messed everything. Oh. And we do like um <laughs> it worked for a little bit and then it broke, but we had like a little kind of like roster rundown animations that was synced on the stream. With like yeah. each player. For that first game, man, we were kings of esports, but uh, right now, MLG were eating their hearts out. You should, in my opinion, should follow Lego, see if they fall over, or if they work themselves up there, back from the sewers. You think so? Sure. That, that, that's Why not? not a, that's that's what an interesting you game. Cause... You're following, you're, you were following Lego for two games now, and you hope that they're, that, you know... We can hype and, them up and, and they're going to be good this season, yeah. They're and playing Phoenix, who just beat uh, Ao girl exactly. against the so seeding. Just beat it's a battle of the... the so maybe Phoenix seeds. are coming back up as well, so you have like this, you know, all or nothing match. Mm. <laughs> For two wow. teams that have caused an upset. Well, we're going to win, against so... Each other. Let's see if we can uh, influence the chat here. Ducky's on it, he's going to be bringing up a straw pool very soon. And we're not going to know which game we're going to cast until then. We're three minutes past the uh, start of the round, but we've told the teams to wait. Bear with us. Um, we're going to put it over to the audience to decide. Ips has given a strong case here for the Lego Phoenix. You know, I'm almost one over a little bit, but I still would like to see um, what me and Germany have in store. Maybe I'll see them in the Grand Finals. I'll contain myself, Commander X. That's what I said. <laughs> what are you feeling, Commander X? I know, I think... The upper bracket final is just out of a window. Like I think, Ips and Made in Germany are just gonna take it pretty comfortably. Probably not a roll, but you know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, we haven't seen half the teams yet, right? So maybe TLR just had a rough start, aren't they still in? They're still in, yeah, yeah, they be, Yeah, um, so that can Ayo like, everything can still happen. So I mean, I'm just talking about the individual match of the upper bracket final. I think you guys will 
All right. Yeah. You know, especially with the lack of Exxon and Dean Wallen in the third. I think Kalis now has an even greater advantage on Demo. Doug has produced the sub poll, guys. Uh, the poll is live, is it in chat? It's in the Twitch chat. Everybody vote now. Oh. We have to make this decision real quick. Um, I can share it. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, who am I going to vote for? Let go. Guys, come on, look at me this. I want to see more Legos. Oh shit. Oh, Made in Germany is winning. Uh, don't vote for Made in Germany. Stream? No. Yeah, you're going to see us sooner or later. I think we should cover lower bracket final just because all the upper bracket final teams are still going to be there, like after this round. Whereas the lower bracket finals, this will be our last chance yeah, to see. Yeah, there will be gone. That's teams. what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree with it. <laughs> You ask for democracy, and then you're like, nah, we know better. The community has no it's, idea what they're doing. It's democracy, as look long as you the, agree with us. Look, look at the season awards. It's the same concept. Oh shit, straw pools on the serve, on the stream, woo! We have the technology, we can rebuild him, but right now we just need you to vote. It's getting close. Uh, I'm going to decide to cut it off in 40 seconds once my oh, phone God. clock hits uh, 15.46. The vote will end, so uh, get your votes in now. Let go, let go, let's go, guys! It needs ten more votes for Lego to come out. On Lego's top of creeping up. Lego is creeping up. Let's go, Lego. Lego need you right now, stream. Yeah, man. Denmark winner. Let's go. Oh, we're getting there. Oh no! Ten seconds. <laughs> Suddenly made ten Germany. seconds. Let's go. Lego's out ten of the balls. Balls. Somebody's hacking this this pool. It's so close, but Lego are oh, sucking no. out right now. Are we That's gonna it. listen to them? That's it. Three, right, two, right. one. On my poll, it is made in Germany versus Evocate. Right. Sorry, guys. The All underdog right. story is over. We're gonna follow uh, our number one and number three seeds for some upper bracket action coming to you on Gullywash. But before then, we're gonna have Huey take us a little Zoe advert, I hope. Uh, I will just uh, tell him on. Wait. Lego are about to overtake. <laughs> the pause over, Commander X. Dreams oh. over, buddy. Deal with it. The votes have been counted. We're running to a super tight schedule here, but we will hopefully go to a little advertisement. Corporate announcement. Corporate announcement. <laughs>